Hi, this is going to be a quick tutorial how to rig hair for your character. And in this example, this is how we want our matter rig to look like. You can see. Okay, let's start with your armature. You don't have hair bones right now, so you want to add bones that resembles hair strand. Let's go and find a spine tailbone or something like that. Let's find it and okay, let's click add. You want to G and grab it and you want to position it in the middle of your hair strand. Just click and move. You want to follow your shape. Just position it one by one, so something somewhere in the middle of the volume. If you want to see better, you want to uncheck your view bones in front and just continue. So we want to position our bones in the middle of your hair volume and want to go smaller to the end. If you want more detailed movement, you want to add more bones by extruding the last bone. And everything else is the same. Now we want to parent our first bone. So we are going to parent it to this bone. Uh, that's spine 006 and we want to select that bone. If you don't know the name of the bone, you want to select it and click and see it here. Next step is to rename the bones, select them, Control F2, select bones, names and rename them. Let's select name. Okay, now you want to actually select them again, Control F2, and press suffix dot L. We want to do that because we want to mirror this, go under armature and symmetrize. As you can see, these bones are dot R on the other side. And actually that's all. Now you want to repeat these steps for, for all your major hair parts. In this example, this is how this is going to look like. So when we generate rig and parent it with automatic weights, you'll be able to control your hair. You can see under pose mode, you can move it. Okay, so that it's working. Next step will be weight painting and of course you can add inverse kinematics to your hair. Have fun with it.